Hey, good morning and welcome back to Good Knit Kisses. I'm your host, Kristen, and today is Monday, Q&A day. I'm so glad you're here. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. Uh, I am a little under the weather this morning. I'm still kind of tired, got really sick on, um, on Friday, about eight hours, 10 hours after I broadcast on Friday. So I've had time to kind of recoup, but this is going to be a short broadcast today. <laughs> I didn't want to complain on social media, but um, I'm here and I'm, I'm here to answer your questions, but a little tired. So I'm so glad you're here, though. Um, I love to see you, you guys' faces. I'm sorry, I'm getting my, my crochet ready. I figured I'd just kind of stitch and talk today, if that's okay with you. If you're joining me for the first time, uh, give me some hearts and love when you enjoy something and let me know where you're from. Uh, if you are returning, just tell me howdy, hello, and uh, I just love to see you guys come on. Uh, right now, I'm just going to stitch and talk. I'm working on my uh, shawl here, I'm trying to find my stitch marker. Good morning, Christine. Welcome, welcome. It's good to see you. How are you today? Good morning, Carol. Carol is on, and when you see Good Knit Kisses commenting, it is her. So good morning. Sorry, I'm I'm fidgeting around. Um, so I've got my my. Oh, sorry. The broadcast skipped for a second. Getting my my crochet ready. I'm gonna uh, stitch and talk. <laughs> um, I didn't have any questions from uh, last week that I didn't get to. Um, I can talk a little bit about um, the Burnett mystery. Uh, stitch along because someone I mean did ask me a question and so I'll just like re address it again um, I am going to be working on the knitting side of the stitch along uh, next month uh, not not the crochet uh, Michael uh, or Mikey with the crochet crowd uh, is doing the um, the crochet portion of the mystery stitch along with Bernat and Joanne and then Yolanda with all crafts channel is doing knitting and I'll be following along with the knitting side so, uh, good morning, Linda. Hey, you're watching from your desk. Oh, shh, you're watching from your desk. <laughs> I see Tammy is joined in. Hello. I see her. Y'all can't see her, but because she's my, my friend, I see that she, she joined in. Excuse me while I fix my hair. And Tammy and her husband just celebrated their 22nd wedding anniversary. So, happy anniversary to you. <laughs> Carol! Oh, she figured out how to post is just her. Oh, how sweet. Awesome. Of course, I love when you post for good kisses too, so that's fine too. <laughs> so, um, I was telling everybody on, uh, welcome to live, welcome to the replay. Of course, um, this morning, I said this morning already that um, I am not feeling that great. I'm still kind of like sore. I got really sick um, late on Friday, <laughs> I think, all night. And, uh, anyway, it was, it was not cool. I've just basically worn myself out and, um, I'm high, I'm highly allergic to smoke. And I had a work day with PTA the day before where, um, I was around someone and unloading boxes from their car that, um, were really, really stinky. And I started smelling it and I was, my throat was closing up and then like, it just, it just finally just got to me. Um, I had also been having some help from a lady, um, helping with my house and she's a heavy smoker. And I guess just after all of that, my immune system just like broke down and I couldn't, my body couldn't handle it anymore. I mean, I love the people. I just, <laughs> my body just doesn't like how it feels after a while. It just builds up in my system and then I just can't handle it anymore. <laughs> so <laughs> it's TMI, but anyway, so <laughs> That is, that's not awesome to tell you, but that's how I'm feeling today. So it's kind of a short broadcast. So anyway, I didn't have many questions from last week other than to clarify, yes, I am knitting along with the Burnett Stitch Along next uh, month in October and um, so and not, not crocheting, but I am knitting and I, it will be on my blog. So anyway, oh, Christine, thank you. Thank you very much for the well wishes. And Stacy, thank you. I, pre I appreciate it. Yeah. It's more like I'm really sore now <laughs> without going into everything. <laughs> Hi, Patricia. How are you today? <laughs> 
Thanks for the love. Um, I started working on my, um, my shawl again last night. I'm finally taking the stitch marker out. I'm just stitching along with my, um, the texture stitch, the, basically the same stitch that I used for the, um, for the, um, oh my gosh, I can't even tell you the marshmallow crochet baby blanket. So it's kind of hard for me to show it up like this. It's like how pulling my hands up high. It looks like I'm left-handed, but I'm not. It's just the way it, it reverses it when the camera's front like that. But um, anyway, so I was trying to see how far I could get on one um, cake, one of the Karen cakes. And um, uh, Patricia, I was just telling everybody I got, I got really sick late Friday. So um, so I'm, I'm glad I had the weekend to kind of catch up. Otherwise, I would have been like, y'all, I am not broadcasting. So I had the weekend to like chill out as much as I could but yeah because we've been trying to move I've been um, getting things ready and they gave me like another day or so to get things ready at the house uh, for like taking pictures and and all that stuff before listing the house up for sale so um, anyway that's good that's good so um, anyway um, but I was going to show y'all how far along I got Stacy says I'm hoping to make a crochet marshmallow baby blanket yeah, they're really nice. Um, I hope you do too, because once you get it going, it's really, it's really a brainless, <laughs> it's really a brainless kind of baby blanket to make. And especially if you don't bother color changing, because it just kind of whips along on you. Um, you use the Bernat baby blanket. Well, I use the Bernat baby blanket yarn. I like it with it. Um, actually I'm considering, I want to go get, um, some of the big balls from Michael's. I still haven't gotten to go to the store. I got, I just felt so bad. I just hadn't even gone. Um, I was going to go on the weekend and that just was not happening. I didn't really think I should subject myself to anyone else either. <laughs> but um, anyway, I want to do the, like a monster version, <laughs> a super, a super marshmallow. <laughs> like, like maybe I could do a super marshmallow version with the big blanket yarn. You don't like moving, Patricia? Oh, Linda, you just had to first have to learn how to crochet. Do y'all want me to see me this? Do y'all want me to show you the stitch I'm doing? It's pretty simple. I can do a little little tutorial here. We could do a, a single crochet and a and a double. That's all it is. It's just single, double, double, single, double, double. Here, let me just look the camera. If I have any questions, I'll stop and I'll answer them. Let's see. Let's see if this is a good setup. Let me flip. Let's flip. So this is what we're doing today. Let me move my stuff out of the way. Let me know. Let's see if you can see. I think I can see your comments and questions here. Oh, let's see. I think I need to maybe lower my, um, lower this. Do, 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 do. I'm lowering my tripod very slowly. It's like the, it's like the slow dipping stick, like, in, like Austin Powers, like, like when, when they're lowering him to his death in the sharks. Okay. <laughs> Anybody remember that? So yeah, this is, this is with the Karen. Um, I'm using, let's see, this is the Karen cakes and um, one ball they said makes this scarf here and really, I mean, you could just make this a scarf and just stop with the one ball. I think I'm going to have to get a second ball. I mean, I know I was being ambitious trying to make a triangle. <laughs> I should know better. Um, this is the, um, I had the, it's color 17009 Macaron. Um, I keep calling it Macaroon because I, but I think Macaroon is actually two zero, two, two zeros, two O's. <laughs> Anyway, um, but yeah, so this is, um, yeah, this is the Karen cakes. And then, so what I did is I started with like, I think I have to look at my notes, but I want to say it was like a hundred and no, no, it's not 110 stitches chains. Oh, I have to look, I'll have to look. Um, but anyway, yeah, it just keeps going. And then the other side does this. See, so what I do is I just stop it short. It's just like the marshmallow, except it's, um, it's, except it's not, <laughs> except it's a smaller hook. And, um, this is a H or, um, a five millimeter. And so what you do is, um, 
so it makes this uh, makes this leaning design here. You go, um, <clears throat> you do a single and then two doubles, and then <clears throat> you skip over two chains uh, into this little hole here, and then do a single. Okay, and then a double into that hole. I'll go slower in a second if you want me to do slow. I think Linda was wanting me to show slow. And then another double. So it's a single double double into the same hole. And then that's that's the stitch. That's it. And then you move and you skip over two chains and then you go in and do your single. So like if you want to do a single crochet, here it is. So we start off, we, we, we're going to put it in the place our pattern says. We put it in that little hole there at the top of the chain. I get two, I go into both stitches. So, so I've got two um, on top, two loops on top, and then I pull through my yarn like this, and then I yarn over and I pull through both. One, two, see? And then uh, when I do a double, I just yarn over first, then I go in the hole, then I yarn over again, pull through that hole, and then we'll yarn over, and we're gonna go through two, that's one, two, and then yarn over and go through one, two. Okay, so that's a double. And then I yarn over again, and I do it again. Back into that same hole, pull through, pull through two, and two. So that's it. So did anybody see the, um, the color pooling stuff that has been like the talk of the town? Now, it's not a new thing to happen. It's just for, it's just kind of caught on to some phenomenon of everybody wanting to do it. Um, interesting thing, um, I hadn't heard it. Um, I, I, I'm trying to remember what the official term is. I don't think the official term is actually color pooling. Someone called it color pooling, but I don't think that's actually it. Um, because, well, I know that in, in carpet design, um, I did, I used to sell <laughs> floor covering and um, I did interior design based on that. And when I was with the manufacturers, color pooling is actually a phenomenon that happens. And it's actually a mistake. And you might see like this weird, really, really weird spot of color, like a big, almost like a pool, um, like huge spots of um, discoloration. But it's, it actually didn't happen. Uh, like it wasn't at the manufacturing plant. And when it got laid in a house, it like has this weird effect. And so... It's like, it's, it's actually a phenomenon, but the, but what you're doing when you're doing it with the crochet hook and you're trying to make this, um, this pattern and you can do it with knitting too. Um, so what they're doing is, um, you take a variegated yarn, not a self-striping yarn. So this is self-striping here, but if you take a variegated yarn, which changes the color more often, um, you take a hook this size, a five millimeter H and you either chain 20 or 24 or 28. I found that the average most people are using is a 24. Uh, so chain 24 and then you do a linen or a moss stitch. And then it has like a tartan, um, you know, like one of those plaid style designs. And uh, it's got a really cool effect. And so if you start knitting it up, I mean, uh, crocheting it up, maybe like four inches or five inches or so, you'll start to see that patterning. And if you don't see it, then they said, just rip that out and then start over with the different chain number. So 20, 24, or 28. Um, ah, my yarn's caught off to the side here. This is all I have left, y'all. You wanna see how much left I have on this thing? It's all a mess because I did not use one of those yarn bras. So like, this is it. It's a mess. Isn't that awesome, awful? <laughs> So I'm trying to work the rest of that. I don't think I'm going to get very much. So let's see if I've got a measuring tape here. So this is, this is five and a half inches or so. Yeah. Five and a half inches, which is, uh, 14 centimeters. And so I'm definitely not, <laughs> I'm definitely not going to get this triangle shawl out of this, this one ball. Um, but it is 60 inches to, to the end from the tip to tip. So I did 60 inches. So, uh, anyway, that's what I'm doing here. I'm going to flip around and look at your questions here. Ah, I'm going to have to adjust my camera here. Um, let's flip, flip back. Um, oh, Pam, you like that? It's really pretty. 
Uh, oh, you can do a mean chain. <laughs> Linda. When, oh, it's when you turn to start the second row that you run into problems. Yeah. Uh, Linda, did you check out my video from, um, not last week, but it was the week before I did a uh, tutorial. I did a live crochet tutorial on a Thursday. Uh, anyway, so if you go back to my main page that you're on now or click on the Good Knit Kisses thing, go to videos. And if you look at the Thursday selection playlist, you'll find a tutorial. And I kind of, I go through it. I go like slower and, and I talk about like how many you have to chain up, um, in order to get that and everything. Um, let's see. Patricia says, when I move home this year into the new house, I lose my crochet. What? Why? Why would you lose your crochet? Good morning, Patty. I'm glad you like the colors. Yeah, I like, I like that color. Macaron. Y'all tell me, am I saying it wrong? Is it Macaron or Macaroon? Because it doesn't have two O's. I'm obsessing over this. I really am. I don't know why I'm so obsessed over the name. <laughs> So I told you guys that I would let you see my house on Monday when it was ready. And if you're just joining me, I got sick on Friday, like late, late Friday. And basically everything came to a grinding halt. Um, we, we got most everything done. I can take you on a tour of my living room um, and probably my kitchen. Although I'm sure I've got some dishes drying. But, um, <laughs> oh, Oh, I got in eight blankets, eight baby blankets that people sent in for Embrace Grace. Y'all want me to show you the baby blankets? Let's see what they sent us. I haven't even looked at it. I, I opened the bag just in case y'all wanted to see. It's in boxes. Don't know where it is. Oh, okay. You'll have to. You think it's a play on words? I don't know if that's... Is Nikki on? Maybe Nikki's commenting as good knit kisses now. I would say how I read it, macaroons, like balloon. Yeah, well, that's what I would think, except they don't spell it that way for the, for the uh, Karen yarn, uh, the Karen cake. I think they're trying to be clever, but it's confusing me because it clearly, macaroons come like these, like macaroons look like this. Well, I mean like French macaroons, not the ones my mamma makes. Um, let's see. Linda says, I have to look into it today and tomorrow. I work on vacation till October the 1st. Yeah. Um, yeah, be sure. So y'all check out, check out the blog that I did. If you go to goodknitkisses.com and, um, click on the, the blog for Bernat and, um, you'll find out, um, where to get your stuff. You can click on the, um, it'll give you the link directly to, um, the Joann's site where you get all your supplies info. You need like five balls of yarn for the knit and seven balls for the crochet blanket. Um, and then you need like different quantities of each. I think it's like they're both, both patterns require three different colors, but they're different quantities of each. So yeah, Carol says, good morning. Hi, good morning, Carol McCoy Johnson. Oh, Carol Blakely is confusing us this morning. Carol, now she switched back to not her name. She switched to Good Knit Kisses name. So <laughs> she's, she's confusing me now. Oh, when you lost your connection, it switched back to GKK. Oh, okay. Well, that's all right. That's all right. Anyway, yeah. So if you go to goodknitkisses.com and you click on um, blog and then you click on the Burnett blog. Um, anyway, but, but Burnett, what they're doing is you um, go ahead and get your stuff now. Get your, get your yarn. I mean, you find out what you need. And if you're going to pick the crochet or the knitting, or if you're going to do both, you're very ambitious. If you do both, boy, tell me if you're doing both, I'm going to follow you. <laughs> so, but you post your work on the Burnout event page and, um, and you use a hashtag. Um, it's like handmade with Joanne, I think is the hashtag. And, uh, anyway, but I'll be posting my stuff on there. And then of course I'll have the blog, um, with like more information and, um, follow along and it's a different stitch. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. I like you. <laughs> it's a different stitch a, uh, a week. So, um, you know, you have time to, I mean, obviously you have to, you know, crank it out that week and then you get ready for the next week. So, and then of course they will be archived. You'll be able to get to it later. I'm sure. But anyway, 
Um, did y'all want to, uh, let's see. My house is kind of boring. I don't know why I'd want to show you. But <laughs> Do y'all want to see the blankets? I haven't had any, um, I haven't had any questions yet today for Q and A, so I'm just kind of winging it. <laughs> I haven't had any frequently asked questions besides the Bernat. I just kept getting asked those questions, so I thought, well, I'll just tell you, say it again. <laughs> um, oh, reminder, by the way. Okay, good. I'm gonna go show the blankets. Um, before I do that, uh, reminder: the Zippy. Uh, video for the, I did the release of the Zippy master set. And then I did a, um, a review. And at the end of the review is all the information on winning one. So watch the review and then listen for the details and then submit your, your details, um, for the giveaway. It ends tomorrow night. Um, it was well, my time. So whenever it clocks at like 1159, uh, Tuesday night, uh, central standard time, um, that will be the last entry that counts. Uh, and then what, sorry, I had a phone call to interrupt that. I do a random number generator and figure out who, who got the, um, uh, who got the prize for the States and who got the international one. And then I'll contact you and get the, um, the address and all that stuff. And then you win, but you have to comment like in the YouTube video, you can't do it like from the video that you see, like in Facebook or something. If you comment in Facebook, it doesn't count. So anyway, I just want you to know, y'all be sure and get in your, um, your entries. Cause that ends very soon. And then I'll be announcing it by Friday who the winner is. So you have to go on the YouTube channel to see it. So go to youtube.com slash good kisses and check those videos out. Um, and, uh, but it's the video with a review, not the connection video. Um, Carol says, been making cotton chickens for gifts. Fun to do. Very useful. What are the cotton chickens made for? Oh, are those those, are those those pot holders or washcloths I've seen? Um, I'm going to get up. Uh, hold on. I'm going to show you my stuff while you're answering the question. Here's my studio. La, la, la. Let's spin around. I had to take my plaque off the wall right there. I had my YouTube plaque. And she was like, you better take that off because it's personal. It has your name on it and someone might take it. I'm like, someone would take my YouTube award? And she's like, yeah. <laughs> so I was like, that's not good. So anyway, <laughs> I had to take that down. I'm like, that's sad. <laughs> All right. So this is my space. I'm still, I guess I've got to clean off some of this stuff. I keep using it. So it's like, well, I can't like, anyway. All right, let me flip. I'm going to get up. Yeah, right? Right, Louisa? I know. I was like, really? I guess I believe people are better than that, but I guess I'm naive. But anyway. Okay, here we go. Sorry. <laughs> Trying to get up when I'm sore. It's not good. <coughs> Excuse me. Hang on. <coughs> Excuse me. I can tell I still am not feeling well. So this is my, this is my office space. Here's my messy desk because it was me working on that. So I've still got to cut like my last few things to kind of audios here, but this is the part of the studio here. So we've got my, my couple of looms that won't fit in any boxes, <laughs> some of my premium yarn and then, um, you know, more stuff in here. Oh, it's our feet to wipe off. It was getting yucky. Anyway, here's some of my stuff. Here we go. Here's some, here's some things in this studio. Okay. So spinning around. This is my dining room. I still got a couple bags to get rid of. Anybody need any clothes? <laughs> okay, here's the blankets. These just came in and they got dropped off at my porch for me. And then let's see. So here we go. So I'm having to hold the, mm -hmm. let me move my chair out of the way. I'm having to hold the phone while I do this. So this lady is so sweet. So when she donates, she does, um, she does uh, these little cards and she attaches the the hats to them. And that hat's so sweet. And then it says, My prayers for your little one. May your strength come from God who made heaven and earth and mountains. He won't let you stumble. Your guardian God won't fall asleep, not on your life. 
God is your guardian right at your side to protect you. God guards you from uh, every evil. He guards your very life. He guards you when you leave and when you return. He guards you now. He guards you always. Psalms 121. And then it says, Bountiful blessing. Oops. Uh, Bountiful blessing blankie. Lovingly made for you by Dawn. Although this yarn was pre-washed by the factory before being used, this blanket has not been washed because most people like their own special detergent for their baby. The blanket is completely machine washable. Simply use cold water, delicate cycle, then low heat in the dryer. God bless you. Isn't that, isn't that nice? So that's what she does every time. And this is these are all blankets from Dawn. And I can't, you know, I can't even count. She's made them over the years. She's probably made 100 blankets for these babies. This is for Embrace Grace. This is one of her blankets. And you just see how talented she is. I love how she uses the color. And she uses a, this one's a mix of stitches and textures, which is really pretty. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that nice? So, of course, it's not washed and blocked yet, but it's um, it'll lay out really nicely. It's been stuffed in this bag <laughs> for however many days. But anyway, I love it. I think it's so pretty. And then, let's see. She always picks some really... Really sweet colors. Let's see. Here's another one. Isn't that cute? Look at that little hat. Isn't that sweet flower? All these fun colors. And then, let's see. Here's another one. Let's see. Look how this one is. Isn't that pretty? Flip that over. See that little hat? It's so sweet, right? I love her how she's got her striping. And it just, whatever pattern occurs to her. And I love it. You know, I mean, change out the colors and, you know, it meant the frilly. And this would be a really, really sweet boy blanket, too. I mean, boys can like pink. That's fine. But <laughs> I'm just saying if you, if you didn't want to. And then let's see. I'm going to have to re, I'm going to have to fold those again. Here's one. Oh, this is lovely. Oh, I think I have some booties that might match for this. Oh, I like that. Oh, oh, this is great. Oh, how sweet. Isn't that pretty? She's playing with some post work there. I love that. Oh, she's got something written on here. Oh, okay. It has alpaca fiber. This yarn in this set contains 30% alpaca fiber, 70% uh, acrylic. Nice. It's so soft. Oh, my gosh, y'all. Oh, it's so soft. I'm telling you. Okay. Okay. There's that. Let's see another one. There's so many stuffed in here. I can't even tell you. And that's another cute one. She's done the same with this one, but all pink. Isn't that sweet? Let's see. Look at that. See? And they're all different. Oh, I need a question. Yeah, the one solid looks perfect, doesn't it? Uh, Patricia says, do you go to the hospital and give to the babies? Love them. They're, they're so cute. Yeah, this is for something called Embrace Grace. And if you want to check it out, go to embracegrace.com or .org, um, O-R-G. I think both of them actually go to the same place. It is a nonprofit. But they um, come alongside um, first-time moms who find themselves um, pregnant and alone, usually with no support system. And they could be 15 to even 25 years old. I've seen one as young as 14 last year. And um, they're all about pro-love. And they walk through them with their pregnancy journey, whether they choose to keep the baby or adopt. And it's like an 11-week program. And on the 11th week, they do a big um, baby shower. And they all get like these huge tables of gifts. And we like to give all the, they call them their blooms, the, the, the ladies who go through it. They, um, we like to give them all something. Oh my gosh, look at this. Y'all look at this little ball that she made, this little baseball. 
Isn't that so precious? Ah! Oh, I love the colors and how she did this. Isn't this fun? Look, the both sides are totally unique too. It's so fun. Yeah, she is a wonderful woman. Dawn is just amazing. I'm going to have to send her a special note. She's, I mean, I'm telling you, I, I, I didn't, I stopped, I didn't keep count. Originally, they just kind of kept coming and coming and, and I don't, I don't like make a list and because I don't think it's about the people and I don't, you know what I mean? Like I want to thank the people who give it to, give it at that time. But I mean, I hate to just call out one person, you know, but my goodness, she's made so many because I mean, I think what they're doing is a heavenly job. And sometimes, you know, we don't want to be like totally recognized for that thing because then it's, then it's about our, our recognition and not what it's for. But man, <laughs> she just, I'm just shouting out right now that Dawn is just such a beautiful person to do this. It just makes me want to cry. Um, anyway, look at this one. Wasn't that sweet? She got a little, instead of a pom-pom, she got the little top thing on there, which I think is kind of fun. A little dot on the back. Isn't that sweet? I love it. Oh, EmbraceGrace.com. Thank you for the, thank you for that. Yeah, it's a beautiful way to give the community, um, and, uh, the program Embrace Grace is now in like three different countries and uh, 40 states or more now. I think it's maybe even more, but they had programs that um, like, if you want it at your church or community, um, you know, just contact them and they have, um, they they go out all over the place and, and help people, um, and, uh, help you set up programs in your own church. What I would love is if the churches that decide to do it, that maybe people like in our community get together and, um, I would love for what I do to be started at other churches. Cause I do this for, um, the four churches around here that participate because it originated at our church. And so I make sure we give to all the blooms from all the campuses and, uh, look at this one. Isn't that fun? Isn't that fun? Oh, look at that. And it's a real sweet little flower. Look how dainty that is. Oh my gosh. How cute. Love it. Love it. Love it. So yeah, Embrace Grace, they, um, but they have all these programs at different churches. And then, um, I would love to see what I do, um, done with other people. So yeah, Dawn Styles, she made these eight blankies and eight hat sets. Isn't that sweet? So <laughs> what I do is I get a, um, I get a list like, um, oh, anyway, before the semester, it's twice a semester. Wow, it's really awful lighting. <laughs> I, I'm walking into the other room because I wanted to show you the other room. Um, but uh, anyway, the, um, uh, can't even talk. Man, I need a drink. <laughs> I need a drink of water. I'm going to go get a drink of water. Um, the, um, my brain, my brain has turned off. What, what I do is I talk to them and then I get, um, uh, I get a list of all the ladies who are going through it. And, um, and then I make, uh, then I talk to the people who, uh, are in my group and the list of ladies is like the blooms names and like how old the babies are when they're, when they're day to birth is sorry. I don't normally do this, but y'all, man, y'all know I was sick. And so I'm like, I've got to get something. Hold on. Can't even think, can't even talk. Oh my gosh. Anyway, um, there was like one semester, the first semester I did it, there was like 30 or 40. And then the second semester, it was like 65, 65. <laughs> and then the next one, it was like round 30 and then it was 40. So it's different every semester, but basically it's twice a year in the spring and fall and they give in the spring, they give, uh, it's usually at the, in March or April. And so I try to get everything in by the end of February, um, or early March. And then the fall one is usually November. And so I try and get everything by the end of, um, mid to end of October. So, um, Sandy, yes, yeah, says at Riley hospital for kids, we can make hats for kids with cancer. It's a great way to get back to community. If anyone's interested. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Um, in my Good Knit Kisses Loomed It and Craft Club group 
we have a, um, a document that has charities in it. And so if you, if you're in there, if you want to join or whatever, you can add it to the charities list. And then if people are interested in doing charities, especially I, I, you know, I, I love when people get locally involved. So like, if you have a local charity, you can look through that list and see, like, see what's near you locally first. I mean, obviously I would take whatever you send me, but if you can help locally, that's the best. Of course, but, but my heart would be, I love the Embrace Grace stuff and, um, I would love for it to go out and, uh, and help and help people in those programs too. Cause that's, cause I love that program. Anyway, I'm going to flip the camera. I'll show you my, my living room. It's all done. Hold on. Look, look at my living room. We painted this. It was just beige walls. We hadn't ever really painted, but, um, anyway, we painted, she wanted us to paint it like gray. So we did this gray wall here. And then we had to paint our breakfast room, which really had nothing on it. <laughs> so it was like super plain. And believe it or not, we've been going without blinds this whole time because we were saving up. We wanted plantation shutters and we just couldn't. So this is my living room and my, uh, my couches, my kids' stuff here. But here's my famous chair. <laughs> my, I say that because this is, this is what you saw a lot of my tutorials on. And it's, um, see, it moves. And I would sit at this chair with my tripod balanced over it and I would squat <laughs> and do my tutorials. And sometimes I would hit this and it would slide because it's, it's a, you know, it's a nursing chair. It's a glider. So anyway, in this picture, my dad just gave me, it was at his office and I love it because it just brings out the color. And, um, anyways, this is my house. Do, 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 do. When I had a full-time job, and <laughs> I was making more money. <laughs> That's when we bought this house. Here's my mess. This is my, my mess from doing things. And I've got to get these pictures framed. Y'all like these? These are my kids' pictures. I was going to... They're painted ones that my girls did. And I was going to frame them and put them up. And there's cute. So, anyway, I thought they were cool. Little dog. Kind of reminds me of, of a dog in the, in the, um, the, it's like, it's like Van Gogh's blue, blue, blue group, blue, uh, blue group, blue, blue period. <laughs> wow. I, <laughs> uh, uh, what a day. I can't even talk. <laughs> Whoa, I haven't even made up my bed yet today, so I'm not going to show you my bedroom. But anyway, you got to, got a little mini, mini tour of the house here, so. I hope, hope you like that. I'm Kristen out of breath and everything. So anyway, well, um, I hope you guys have a great day. I think I'm going to, I'm going to take off. I still have a ton to do and clearly I need a nap, <laughs> but tomorrow is loon knitting day. And, um, uh, if you have any questions for that, um, be sure and, uh, write uh, replay and write your questions. Um, if you um, uh, want to go back to last week's Loom Knitting Day, uh, you can write replay and write your question, and I will check on that before I start, because what I do is I always check on the previous days, uh, <laughs> and uh, the previous day of the week for um, for that for questions. Man, oh, man, thanks for all the love. Y'all just, y'all can clearly see I am not doing well still. <laughs> I thought I could do this. I didn't want to cancel my broadcast, so... Thank you for the love sending me out. Um, wish you all a wonderful day. Thank you, Pam, for wishing me to feel better. <laughs> uh, anyway, we got to smile through it, right? I'm supposed to meet up. Uh, if anybody's here locally, I'm supposed to meet up at my church today at the cafe and have like a little meetup because I blogged about it and did our little thing. And I said, hey, I'm going to do this. So, But I think several people backed out and had last minute things happening. So I may be by myself. So if you're local, come join me. <laughs> I'll be up there and I'll be stitching away. So, oh, thanks, Louisa. Thanks, sis. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Bye, you guys. Have a great day. We'll see you later.